The challenge of patient stratification is mainly linked to the investment that clinicians need to make in order to stratify the patients. Patients can be stratified on a clinical base, when you examine them clinically and you make a dissection of the symptoms in relation to the pathophysiology, or you can also stratify them based on biomarkers, huh, which are molecules, inflammatory molecules, that are present in the nasal secretions or present in the nasal mucosa or even in the blood. Nowadays, it's a challenge for the rhinology community to look at the biomarkers that are actually linked with the possibility of prediction of success of treatment on the one hand, and that also are capable of predicting us if a patient will develop more severe disease in the future. And these are, according to my opinion, the major challenges when it comes to patient stratification in rhinology. The next steps in clinical care for patients with allergic rhinitis are very multifactorial and can be not underestimated. And that's the reason why the Euphoria Consortium is having a European brainstorming meeting here in Brussels, as we want to define the research needs and priorities. And one of the definite needs uh, for better care of patients with allergic rhinitis is to find means to better endotype the patient and to find the specific treatment that the patient will need and that the patient will benefit from maximally. Of course, the major challenge will be to find solutions that are actually socio-economic viable and that are actually not involving a huge cost because then it will not be implemented into daily clinic. But we are strongly convinced that several principles of precision medicine can be integrated into routine care on short notice. And the challenge for us as scientific community will mainly be to define the biomarkers which will allow us to predict the response to treatment on the one hand and prevent the progression from rhinitis to asthma on the other hand.